Well, Diamond, with all the new teams in the league, the new faces, and uh, a lot of the uh, influx of talent in the league, one thing that I want to uh, talk about immediately is the players of the week. Right. Big crop to choose from, and this week, uh, you know, we want to talk about the three players from each division that capture those honors. No easy chore, by the way, to pick these, because when you look over the stats and the scores, there's always going to be a guy who scores 20, a guy who pulls down 15, it seems, because the competition is really stepped it up, but to your point, Isaac, I think that these players are really the elite players. So Yeah, and, and you know, it's going to be interesting. We're early on in the season, and as the season progresses, who's going to be able to do that week in and week out? Yeah, that's that's really where you get to the MVP conversation. I'm sure in two, three weeks we'll be starting to already tee that conversation up. Absolutely. I think you we've know, got some faces here, too. Yeah, and the MVP conversation naturally also lends itself to, you know, Gold Cup contenders. So really, this is a microcosm of all the things to come this season. Let's first talk about... Uh, Top flight player of the week. Let's do it. Chris Hentges? Yeah, I think it's Hentges. Uh, pardon our uh, pronunciation if we're wrong, Chris, but uh, you know, I'm sure you're uh, no stranger to people mispronouncing your last name. Anyway, uh, I think his line read something like 33-9-5. and I mean, That's a good game for a guy. He's 6'3", he's 190, obviously uh, has an ability to get his shot off. Right. Uh, what I see with that AIS team, though, is they play such great team basketball, mm -hmm. and adding another threat like this mm -hmm. makes them that much more dangerous. Well, and, and not even mention that, but this guy was playing in the fall. Six points, six points, six, had a game for 16, and then back to six. Took the winner off, obviously was training for this season because he blows up for 33. Well, Diamond, and you've mentioned some uh, some training uh, regimes by some other players. I know you've uh, alluded to Danny Simmer's aggressive off off season training regime. Yeah, the Swiss Alps regime. Swiss Alps. I wonder if uh, uh, I wonder if uh, you know Chris got into the mix there, the dirty mix. The dirty mix in the yeah. Swiss Alps. Yeah, we'll get more to that regime actually later. But I wouldn't doubt if he borrowed a page from Danny Simmer's book because we'll get more to that too. Danny Simmer's game is back, and, and yeah. I think the Warriors gonna be contenders too. But we're not talking about that right now. But we are talking about the comp player of the week. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Diamond. Um, Aaron Boone is the comp player of the week. He's a rookie of the competitive division. He's a top flight stalwart. He's a solid player. And bringing him down to comp is just an absolute boon for this Mavs 2.0 team. Absolutely. You know, I, th I think that, uh, you know, when UH had the state tournament team together, Aaron Boone really stepped it up in that finals game. And, and for those who were there, saw that he's not just a defensive stopper. This guy can light it up on offense. And by uh, absolute boon, no, no pun intended, uh, you know, it's almost as if a switch turns on with right. him, and he can do what he wants when he wants. It's almost as though he's toying with the competition. What yeah. I like about him is I think that uh, uh, he's seizing this opportunity to show everyone across all leagues that uh, he's quite an elite player. Well, and I think that if you look at uh, Boone's brother Adam, who played at North Carolina and the University of Minnesota, I think you see a little bit of that gene pool dripping throughout the, uh, the brotherhood, if you will, because these guys can both play ball out of their minds, and it's a pleasure to watch Boone play every week. Absolutely. Guarded him once in my life, he guarded me. I can honestly say was scared to death of facing up with him. Yeah. You know, nobody uh, pay any attention to me saying that or take notice, but I was literally <laughs> petrified of him guarding me. He's the, the most tenacious defender in the league. He's, he's won numerous defensive player uh, awards. So, but let, let's move on. I'm sure we'll be talking yeah. more about Boone yeah. this season. Now, Rec, um, first-hand perspective, you had a chance to guard this individual last week. Kyle Wenzel yeah. blows it up. Let's look at the stat line here. 35 points, 35 points, and then, uh, you know, only four rebounds, only four assists, but you're not passing the ball that much if you're scoring 35 points. Well, you know, it's interesting because it seems to happen within the flow of the offense, and I've seen a lot of Kyle Wenzel basketball games where He's been able to really uh, light it up. This was a fairly nondescript 35 points. But that agree. goes to show you what kind of scorer he really is. If you can get 35 and no one really even notices it, that's uh, quite an accomplishment. Yeah, it's just a, another week for Kyle Wenzel, 35 yeah, points. It seems like uh, you know we could talk until we're blue in the face, but right. it just happens week in and week out. He out. did pick the slack up, though, because uh, Sean Ball, uh, Don, Don Call, newcomer for the Riddlers, held Sean Ball, and it was noted down to 10 points. I think he was 2 for 8 in the field or, or some stat line like that. So Wenzel did pick up the slack and showed again that he's really the leader of this team. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Gold Cup favorites, you got to give it, yeah, give it to absolutely. him now with, uh, with I, Wenzel. I don't even think so. that's an issue to talk about right now. I think the Pups are strong contenders. Added O'Jaro Foster. Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. Not yep. much to argue there. Well, Players of the Week this week. Uh, look for it next week. It's going to become a staple of the show. Uh, anything else to add there, Diamond? Uh, that, you know, I'm excited because I guarantee there's going to be new faces in each slot, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of these guys being uh, contested for that player of the week every, every week. Absolutely. Week, in, uh, week out. Yep.